Uh, Jen and Laney, did you factor in anything with credit recovery? Because I know that's been controversial in terms of boosting graduation rates. Do you have any data no, so on that? Our report doesn't at all it brackets that issue, so we you know we don't question to what extent these rates are increasing because of credit recovery. So that's definitely not part of our report at present. Do you want to say anything else about that? No, I mean that would be an implication that some of the kids who actually get high school diplomas illegitimately get high school diplomas. We're looking at the kids who never get to high school diplomas. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, what's the solution? What are you calling for right now for the DOE to do? Well, there's to several things I'm yourself. calling for, and my colleagues can add to what I'm saying. For first and foremost, in the uh, commission that I set up for the uh, head of the education committee in the assembly, that Nolan, the commission came out with a report that called for an independent body, be it, I personally think it could be put into the IBO so, that, so as not to create another bureaucracy, but put it in the IBO where all of this data has to, is forthcoming from the Department of Education and therefore be analyzed, which means you'd have to put some more people in IBO who are statistical geniuses like Jennifer. Um, but I think that that is one solution. We need an independent body that will give us information on what's really going on. My other recommendation is I don't believe that we should be closing troubled schools. I actually believe that creates more of a problem, and we've seen it in overcrowding in many high schools because they close up a huge high school. What happens to the kids that don't go to the smaller high schools? Walk through DeWitt Clinton. You can't walk through there at the halls at lunch. You can't walk through it. So I wouldn't close high schools that are in trouble, what I would do is pour resources, pour resources into those schools, help those kids that are having trouble. I think that that might be a solution. I don't know if my colleagues want to say something that you. Yeah, um, we call for a bunch of things. First of all, when the Department of Education reports its graduation data, it should include all children, not just the general ed population, but the special ed population as well, because that's a loophole that's often used to push kids into special ed and then they don't get reported. We want the discharge code specifically outlined in their graduation reports. Uh, we want an audit. We want an independent body to do a report trying to figure out why it is that kids are getting discharged at greater rates, especially in the first year of high school. And we want to look more, more carefully at the specific incentives that may be built in either to the Department of Education's accountability system or the state accountability system that are causing schools to discharge their kids and causing them to discharge them in the first year of high school. Because these are kids that are not even really given a chance to be educated. And right now, discharges are counted nowhere in these accountability systems, which provides an easy way for, for schools to up their graduation rates. And there are two specific things. One, ninth grade credit accumulation. The more the ninth graders uh, get more credits in their first year, the higher grade schools get. And so if you look at what's happening to ninth graders and you think, this kid isn't passing its first semester courses, let's get rid of him quickly, because he's not going to accumulate credits in the ninth grade. And then in the state system, um, any kid that's been in the school for less than five months is not counted against you in terms of your graduation rate, which might be another um, un, you know, hidden incentive for schools to get rid of these kids before they've even been at the school for five months. So those, and then finally, a lot of several of the discharge codes used by New York City would be categorized on their face as dropouts by the federal government. And we need to get to that quickly, and we need uh, the state and the city to look carefully at these codes. Things like um, um, uh, girls getting pregnant um, is considered a discharge if they don't remain in school. Those, those should be a dropout. Kids getting uh, being referred to outside GED programs are considered discharges according to the federal government. That should be dropouts. There are a bunch of codes that need to be reformed and conformed to national standards. I'll put this question to you uh, and to Betsy, if I may. Uh, obviously, the graduation rates uh, are one of the things that the administration often uses to to cite improvements in the overall education system. Um, are you saying that those graduation rate numbers are misleading based on some of the data? And what is the public to make of the fact that that it is misleading information? Uh, do you want to answer? Yeah. I, I, I think what we're saying is while the trend is improving, it's not improving as much 
as the Department of Education would like one to think. Now, what do I think about that as public advocate? I think we need to get to the bottom of it and find out what is really accurate. So we can say the graduation rate is going up, but it's going up less than they're saying for the following reasons. We're asking that those following reasons, that those be defined, audited, looked at, and included in the graduation rate. So that if they are, instead of being up here, it's down here, the graduation rate. So I'm saying that this is a very, very complicated issue. It is filled with data and statistics and things that people don't really understand and don't have the attention span to understand it, but we need to get to the bottom of it to find out what's really going on. Therefore, we need an independent audit of the Department of Education, of the graduation rates and the discharge rates. We need to get the codes. There's something like 30 codes in there that we can't get information about. They refuse to release it to us. I think they have to release it to the state controller. Those are all things we need to find out to see what is really going on. I, I guess part of my question, and again, I don't know if you can answer, are we to draw the implication that the quality of education in the city is not what we're being told it is based on the mis or based on the reporting of these graduates? Yes, I, I would categorically answer yes. I don't believe that the quality of education over the past years of these reforms is what we're being told. I'm not saying it's not going in the right direction. Art, I've been saying that for the last six years, over and over. It is going in the right direction, but not the way we're being told. So we need to look at why it isn't going up in the way we're being told. Examine that and then fix that. And that's why I go back to independent office to look at the data, put your resources in those schools that are not doing well as opposed to closing. That's my personal bugaboo because I've seen so many high schools where the other schools have been closed or a little bit different issue where one of the made, you know, mega high schools has been closed and put into four different schools or five different schools and been put in that building. And I see the results of overcrowding in schools all around that building. So I believe that that is something we really need to look at. Everybody needs to look at it scientifically, objectively, without getting hysterical. I'm not going to accuse them of lying. I just think we don't have enough information. I really don't want to dominate the discussion here, but just sure, one ahead. more question. Go ahead, go ahead um, the, the timing of this report, uh, coming as it does, uh, as the state legislature is considering mayoral control, uh, what, where, where does this fit in the picture of those who are questioning mayoral control as it exists? Well, I think it's a very important report to be released. Again, because the legislature is looking at mayoral control, something which I certainly want to keep. I stated categorically I want to keep mayoral control, but I think there need to be more checks and balances put upon the control of the school system um, by the mayor. I believe one of the most important checks has got to be an independent office that gets you the data. We're saying, we're all saying, that these are all statistical geniuses. I mean, they, they can't get information about something that's really important to making the schools better for the kids. And I believe that this report is going to be very important to the legislature in looking at some of the recommendations that have come out. Almost everybody, in fact, even Chancellor Klein, when he, when he testified before our commission, said he wanted, he thought and he needed an independent body to do statistical uh, data um, analysis. He said that. So I think that that smallest thing I'd hope out of this is that the legislature would take that very, very seriously and create that kind of independent